Here are some key steps that every front row should practice daily to prepare for better, safer and stronger scrumming technique. The systematic preparation for scrumming will eventually become second nature on match day. Hi guys, today we're going to look at um, a pre-engagement scrum setup checklist, something that you can take home, something that's step by step, work out on your own without any material uh, or weight, and just make sure that you get everything right in terms of your setup. So Wes, if you're going to be go down into your normal setup position, feet so slightly wider than shoulder width apart, I think Wes is sitting backwards a bit, I think he's a little bit high in terms of his shoulders here, um, I think something that needs to sort out with his pelvis. Um, very important to activate these muscles here to be strong in the upper back and very important what Wes does well here is to look to the front and make sure that he has got his neck muscles activated to the front as well. So Wes, maybe one thing important is your pelvis. Put your thumbs on your, on your pelvic bone there. Keep it to the front. Now push it backwards to the front again and tilt it backwards again. That's a very important movement to get right as you go down into your, into your crouch position because that will allow you to basically balance your chest and get your chest to the front a lot better and also make sure that you've got your hips and your shoulders at the same height, which is very important at scrum time. Let's go through the checklist from, from point number one. Feet a bit wider than shoulder width apart. Weight distributed equally on the balls of your feet. Right now, do that pelvic tilt and go down to the crouch position. Right, make sure you've got about 100, 100 degree, around about 100 degree, 110 degrees angle right there. Make sure that hips and shoulders are at the same height. Come down a bit here, sit backwards. Okay, from here, activate here, head up, activate neck, and from here, you're in a strong scrummaging position. Right, thank you, Wes. And here we'll go through the same checklist for props again with yourself. So let's start with the feet, make sure that their shoulder slightly wider than shoulder width apart, weight equally distributed on both feet. Uh, from your pelvic tilt backwards, go down into a crouch position, crouch down, that's down. Make sure you get that 110, 100, 100 degrees angle, pelvis backwards. Let's get hips and shoulders at the same height. Make sure that we activate all these muscles in the upper back here. Always look to the front if you activated your neck. Perfect position, nice and flat. See the bindings, only difference is from a tighter, this arm is up. This is a binding arm with the hook and this is a barring up arm. And the same principles apply, it's exactly the same. Spanning line, body is flat, 110 degrees, that's what we're looking for, perfect height. And obviously that's a good setup. I want you now to quickly set up for a crouch position. Bind. Peter, do you mind taking Okay, over? Greg, yes, important to have a very strong grip on your opponent's jersey there. Once you've got a good grip, you deload some of your weight onto him. Okay, and then once you've deloaded, you get that feedback slightly. And hips, shoulders will be at the same height. Activate the upper part of the back, head up, tuck your neck in towards your, the base of your back, and from here, you're strong. Engage will be on the set call where you work in towards the scrum. 